Hey guys, it's me, Mari Bond, and I am back with another video. Today is Wednesday, January 31st, and it's currently 11 11 a.m. And I have no one here for you all today. And so I'm just going to get him changed out of his sleeper that he's been wearing for three years. And we're going to get him changed into something a little more cute and a little bit more warm. And this is nice and you know cozy, but this outfit right here is super cute. It is Cherokee size 12 months. And I honestly, I just went to the closet and just picked this out. I didn't even look at anything else, but I was just like, oh, this sweater's cute. This is like a gray sweater. And then I just saw these khakis. There are two, two khakis in there. One was like a more tan color. And this one is more kind of like a... I don't know brown i i don't know it's weird because like i consider both of them tan but that one looks more tan and this one to me looks brown if i had to say like if i couldn't choose tan <laughs> i don't know but i chose these to go with them so i am going to fix you guys and reposition the camera sorry guys okay so let me reposition the camera i don't know where because uh, in the back, there's like, it's like boxes in the back. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. So, I've been up since literally 7 o'clock in the morning. And I need to take a nap. But I'm not going to anymore because I have a package that's supposed to be coming. And I want to make sure I'm up for that. And I know if I'm asleep, I'm not going to be able to hear it. Also, up since I was upstairs, now I'm downstairs, like literally right next to the door. But I think I would have been able to hear it upstairs. But I decided just to come down here to make this video really quick. And then I can also just stay down here so I can hear the door as the package is out for delivery. The, um, the time hasn't changed, but I think we usually get... Well, okay, I'm in a different area now, but before we usually get packages around three to four o'clock but it could be a different time frame around here so i'm just checking the tracking and making sure that i don't miss it when it updates so yeah anyways that's what i am doing and i don't have a topic for today's video but my last video is pretty positive so i want to keep that up for now <laughs> and uh on that note let's again keep up the kindness and positivity yesterday i was at work these on sunday and monday i didn't get off sunday i got off at two o'clock in the morning monday i got off around 12 30 in the morning and yesterday i got off over like usually my regular time and i was at work right and right before I washed my hands, I looked at my phone just to, you know, make sure nothing crazy is going on or anything like that. So it's like I'll occasionally check my phone to make sure I didn't get any messages from my mom that I missed or anything important. Um, usually if it is important, they know where to find. But just in case, let me take this off. This has been on him for three years. Let me grab another one. I'll be right back, guys. Give me one second. Okay, I'm just going to leave it all right on. So... Anyways, yeah, I occasionally, okay, not occasionally, I check my phone just, not, not often, just a few times. Like, usually if I have to change my gloves, I'll quickly check my phone before I have to wash my hands and put my gloves back on. So, while I was doing that, I had got, like, a few notifications from, like, YouTube Studio, but not YouTube itself. Usually it's, like, YouTube and YouTube Studio when I get, like, a comment or something. It'll pop up, but because I was, like, logged out of YouTube, I only got it on YouTube Studio. And I was like, oh, look at me getting some comments and stuff. And then, guys, I might as well throw this away, right? Like, he didn't stretch this thing out. <laughs> um, And, guys, why the comment was, like, it's not funny, but, like, at the same time, it, like, it kind of is. Because that's just me. I laugh at anything and everything. But the comment, I was like, oh, I got a comment. Look at that. Look at me go getting comments and stuff. I usually don't get those. And the comment was like, 
ew, he is not cute. I was like, oh, well, okay. So, you know, I just washed my hand and put my phone back. Well, I put my phone back first, obviously. Wash my hands with my gloves on, continue back to work, you know, like every person should be doing. And I go home and I'm like, okay, let me see what this person is talking about. I click on the comment. The video's from four years ago. I'm like, are you serious? You're commenting on a four-year-old video saying he's not cute. You know how many videos I put out since then? You know how many babies I've got since then? But I'm like, okay, whatever. He's not cute. He's not cute. Someone also magically commented on that video like literally like 30 minutes to an hour after they posted that. And they were like, if you don't like the video, you shouldn't have watched it. And I'm like, exactly. But in my head, I'm thinking... How y'all both find this video from four years ago? It wasn't even a popular video. But anyways. <laughs> anyways, I was like, well, right, right. Why is they watching this if they don't like it? But <laughs> then I find another comment. It's like, I hate you. I'm like, dang, okay. What did I do? I don't even, I don't even know you, ma'am. And you do not know me. And I'm like, oh, okay. Like, I, I really don't know what people want or expect you to say to a comment like that. Or like a hate comment in general. Or just like an even an unnecessary comment. Like, what do you want these people to say? Like, do you want to start an argument with them or something? Like, I don't know what people possibly want others to say when they comment things like that. But I'll just be like, okay. And then I'm like, well, okay. The only two comments from the same person that's ranting about who knows what. That has nothing to do with me. You don't like the baby. That's okay. You don't think he's cute. That's fine. Uh, you don't, you hate me, you don't know me, but that's okay too, you know, I guess. Go off, queen. Um, so then I was like, okay, whatever. So I'm just checking, like, the other comments. And then I'm like, okay. And then YouTube has, like, been messing up my comments because there were three comments for about, from about two to three weeks ago. And YouTube had, like, marked them and I had to, like, go in and review them. And I was, like, two weeks late because I don't do that often. But I was like, well, since I just checked a few days ago and I had like three comments that I had to be that had to be reviewed that were literally perfectly okay from three active watchers and commenters. I'm like, let me check and make sure I didn't miss any other ones. So I go to like the review thing. And why is this same person commenting under like all of my old videos? Ew, ew. I I don't know. This is why you have to keep kids off of social media. Because they don't know how to act. And sometimes it's, sometimes it's adults that don't know how to act. And they comment things like that too. So it's not only just kids. But this particular person was a kid. So I say all that to say just be a little more kinder to people. What if that was my last straw lady? <laughs> what if that was my 13th reason? But no, that I didn't care. That doesn't faze me. But other people may care. And I just feel like you shouldn't be leaving those things under people's videos or even pictures um especially on in the facebook groups people come with the most unnecessary things in the reborn facebook groups that does not need to be said no one asked for your opinion sally why are you commenting these things under these people's posts so i honestly think if it's not a nice comment keep it to yourself if it's not something you want to get said to you keep it to yourself and overall, just leave nice comments. Leave positive comments. Well, they don't all... And I'm not saying like, oh, let's all be happy, go lucky, and always smiling, laughing, giggling, and never have a bad day. That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm just saying when it comes to commenting things on people's videos or on any social media and you don't know them and it's like unnecessary comments that don't need to be made then just keep them to yourself i understand like if someone's doing like a topic video and you don't necessarily agree with them and you are sharing your thoughts that is fine but just do it in a respectful way that's okay you don't have to agree with everything everyone says you don't want to be a yes man um but just be a little nicer about it uh, people do not have to agree with me. I have, a, I have a lot of people that do not agree with everything that I say. And I'm totally okay with it. Especially when they bring in like good points or their point of view. Or they just say it in a way that's not like rude. I'm totally okay with that. 
So anyways, this is my Otis baby in my collection, my Mr. Nolan. Um, I feel like I should get him some socks, but do I feel like getting up again for a second time? I do not. So either I will get him some socks later or he will be barefoot. Hopefully, I won't be lazy and I'll remember to get him some socks later. Later, But if not, he'll be okay. It is a little chilly down here, but that's because it was hot yesterday. I was like, oh my gosh, it's hot in here. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to be chilling in this room waiting for my package to arrive. And uh, hopefully it arrives soon because I don't want to be down here all day. I want to go upstairs and play the game. But I know for sure if I get on the game and I got my headset on, I'm not going to be able to hear anything. So I'll just be chilling with the babies, cleaning up a little bit in here because it did get a little bit back messy. And I have two boxes and a backpack. No, I have one box that's like overflowing with baby stuff that I brought down here a few days ago, but I did not put away. I have a the box with We're Born Claudia in, and then I have a backpack with uh, baby stuff that I just have to go through and put away that I honestly forgot I had down here. So I'll be doing that in the meantime. Also, since this video isn't too long, let me hurry up and say this. Quick little giveaway uh, details. I am still doing a giveaway. I'm giving away Real Born Claudia. She is on a 15 to 17 inch body. So she could fit preemie, but I do not put preemie on her. I put small newborn and fits her perfectly. She has full limbs, so full arms, full legs. Rooted hair, it's not the best at all, but it is full. Uh, what else about her? Um, I am giving her away. She's absolutely free. Only about like five people entered, if I'm not mistaken. I'll have to get the names and do like a proper giveaway update, and I'll get everyone who's actually entered. The only rule was you had to have like a certain amount of comments on my channel. And again, guys, if you didn't qualify when you first commented, but then you watched my channel after that, and you commented and you now have that amount, you can go back on that video and re-enter and see if you're qualified, and I'll let you know if you are or if you're not. So if you try to enter before, you weren't qualified, but you know you commented this certain amount now, go back and re-enter because you will be qualified. So I do want to pick the winner for that soon. I'm close to 4,000, so I think I'll wait to pick the giveaway winner for 4,000 subscribers. So thank you all for subscribing. And I do have two babies for sale. Uh, seven is in the car seat that is not an arm's length. And uh, this little girl is is an arm's length, but she's for sale. She is so cheap for full body silicone. She's, you know, floppy, jiggly. She's not the softest silicone you would come by, but for less than $1,000, perfect, perfect starter silicone, perfect silicone for, uh, for a gift. This is a size three months. That's why it's baggy. She is, oh, ignore her hole in her sock. She is 17 and a half, 18 inches, something like that. She does have hair. It's rooted, blonde, not the best hair at all. But overall, she's a booboo baby. But, you know, her price definitely reflects in that. If you want something cheap or if this is your first silicone, I definitely recommend her. Because my first silicone was a booboo -boo partial. And then my first full body was like not even painted. So I think she is like a great price and a great baby to start off with. Anyway, that is pretty much it for today's video. If you guys want to go ahead and follow me on Instagram, you guys can do so. My Instagram is my underscore reborns. And if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you guys want to comment, please leave a question or subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. All right, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.